Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad in which we would look at keep or drop decisions. These topics are covered typically in managerial accounting or cost accounting, also covered on the CPA exam. If you need additional resources about your managerial cost accounting or CPA exam, please visit my website farhadlectures.com. So when do we have to use those keep or drop decisions in the real world? Most companies, they don't they don't produce only one product. They may they will produce many products and they might have many divisions. A case in point is Google. For example, Google, when you think of Google, you'll think of Google search and that's what you think of Google. But Google has other divisions such as, for example, YouTube or Google Maps or Google Ads or Google Androids. So what happened is this. Should we should Google drop a certain division if that division is losing money? Well, from a numerical perspective, Google will have to take a look at the contribution margin. If the contribution margin is negative for a particular division, then from a numerical perspective, they will drop the division because they're, they're operating at a loss. Well, although I said this, although that's true, for example, YouTube for a period of time, it was that has a contribution margin is negative, but Google did not drop it. So when we talk in classes, when we talk in, in courses, when we talk on the CPA exam, we're not talking about the real world. We're talking about hypothetical situation. The numbers are there just to guide you. Now, if the contribution margin is positive, should you still drop the division if the division is not profitable? Well, remember, you have to look at avoidable cost. You have to look at any allocated cost. What's going to happen to that avoidable cost? What's going to happen to that allocated fixed cost? Is it going to go away? Is it going to be transferred to another division? That's what we have to look at. If the contribution margin lost is greater than the avoidable fixed cost. So if we're making a profit and that contribution margin profit is greater than the avoidable fixed cost. So it's covering the avoidable fixed cost. Then we will keep if the contribution margin loss is less than the avoidable fixed cost, then it's not in our best interest to keep. Therefore, we drop. Now, the best way to, to do this is to look at an actual example to see how this all fits together. Once again, I know I'm repeating myself, but you, the, we, we talk from a strictly numbers perspective. There are other considerations, other factors that company look into before they keep or drop a certain division or a certain product. So let's take a look at an example to see how this all fits together. Cube Manufacturing produces three different products, platinum, gold, and silver, and the financial statements from the last quarter is presented. So we have sales for each division, variable cost, as well as the total. So what we can see that platinum is making a profit of 70,000, gold is making a profit of 40,000, silver is incurring a loss of $10,000. Now, once a division is incurring a loss, the, the, the supervisor, the person that's in charge, the CEO, the CFO, they're gonna start to question, why are we operating this division? What's going on with that division? Are we better off removing, closing this division? Well, let's take a look at our decisions tree to see if it's gonna work. Well, what happened if we close silver? What happened if we eliminate this division? If we eliminate this division, the sales of that division will be gone as well as the variable cost. Simply put, we have a contribution margin of 40,000 that's gonna be lost. The contribution margin will be lost. Now the question becomes, okay, I lost the 40,000. What's gonna happen to my fixed cost? I have 50,000 here of fixed cost. Now that's going to help me make a decision. If that f fixed cost will go away, well, that's not bad. Maybe I, I will think about, uh, I will think about uh, removing it. But if that fixed cost will have to be allocated because it's a fixed cost, it might be just allocated to that, that division. If I don't allocate it to the silver division, I have to allocate it to the gold or the premium. Or maybe 25% of it is allocated, uh, will be allocated and 25% will be eliminated. So that's why we have to determine to make the decision to know what's going to happen to that fixed cost. So let's assume we cannot get rid of the fixed cost. What would happen if we can't get rid of the fixed cost? In other words, it will have to be reallocated. Let's look at our situation. If we look at our current situation, when we add everything up, total sales is 1.1 million, total variable cost 810. And what I'm doing is using those totals, basically what we are, where we are standing right now, contribution margin is 290 and fixed cost is 190. Therefore, overall, the company is making 100,000.
The alternative is to drop silver. If we drop silver, we're going to be losing uh, 200,000. Our sales is 990,000. Variable cost is 160. Um, uh, uh, variable cost 160 is lost. What's left is those two, 650. Contribution margin is 250. Now the fixed cost, we had 190 before, and we are going to still have 190 after we drop. So hold on a second. So if that's the case, our profit used to be 100,000. Now our profit is 60,000. Should we drop the division? And the answer is no, because if we drop the division, our profit will decrease by 40,000. Why will the profit decrease? Because we lost. So here's what happened. By dropping the silver division, we lost this $40,000. We lost this $40,000, but we did not lose this expense of 50. So we lost 40 in revenue and we kept 50. Well, guess what's going to happen? Our, 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 our losses will increase by 40,000 by the lost contribution. Therefore, should we drop it? And the answer is no. Now let's assume if we dropped it and we were able to also remove the $50,000. Let's assume that's the case. Well, if we're able to remove the $50,000, it means fixed cost, our new fixed cost would have been 140,000. As a result, we would be at 110,000. We'll be, we would have a $10,000 increase. And this $10,000 increase is because we had a loss and we eliminated that loss. So again, you could work the, work the, uh, work with the numbers where you are indifferent, whether you drop or not. For example, you could say, if I can get rid of only 20% of fixed cost and keep 40 or get rid of 30 and keep 70 so on and so forth so you could make those what if analysis take a look at another example an airline company is presently operating at 70 percent capacity well they're all operating now at really really low capacity because of the coronavirus management of the airline is considering dropping routes between europe and the u.s which is the transatlantic route if these routes are dropped the revenue associated with these routes would be lost that makes sense and the related variable uh, cost saved. That's obvious. In addition, the company total fixed cost will be dropped by 20%. Well, that's relevant for us. Segmented income statement for a typical month appear as follow. All the numbers are in million. So we have within the US routes, within the Europe and the transatlantic. And if we can, if we can see clearly that within the Europe and within the US are making a profit of 300,000, the transatlantic flights are losing money. So the question is, should we drop the transatlantic flight? How do we make this decision? Well, we have to compare what we have right now, how much profit we have overall, versus if we drop the division, what would happen to our profit and make the decision based on that. So right now, if we add up all the revenues, uh, if we add up all the revenues, they should add up to 8.8 .8 million. If we add up all the variable costs, they will add up to 3.9. As a result, we have a contribution margin of 4.9. If we add up all the fixed cost, all the fixed cost, the fixed cost is 4.4. As a result, we're making basically half a million. And this makes sense. We are making half a million dollar from the current status, which is the status quo. What happened if we drop the this division. What happens if we drop this division? If we drop this division or these routes, first of all, revenue will be reduced by 2.8. 2.8 is going to give us revenue of 6 million overall for the company. Variable cost will be dropped by 1.5. Well, 1.5 minus 3.9 is 2.4. That's going to give us a new contribution margin of 3.8. Six. Remember, we said that the fixed cost, which is the total fixed cost, is 4.4 million. It's going to be reduced by 20. It means we can keep, we're going to have 80 left. So we're going to be, have to deal with the fixed cost of 3.52. 3.52. As a result, we're going to be making a profit of approximately $80,000. Is this a good idea? And the answer is not at all. We should keep we should keep it because if we drop it, our profit will go down. And this is what you do. We'll go down by 420,000. So this is the difference between the status quo and the alternative if we drop the transatlantic flight. And this is basically a good example of uh, adding or dropping. Now also, again, I'd like to always remind you,
that these decisions has to be taken within context. So for example, you, you may need those transatlantic flight. Why? Because those transatlantic flight might be feeding into your, your within Europe and within the US revenue. So if you drop them, you don't only lose but you, you might also lose customers because they like to stay with you because they fly within the US, within Europe, and they go transatlantic. So if you drop those transatlantic, you may lose them within the US and within Europe. And those are considerations other than numerical numbers that you have to take into account. Now, how, what would you do under those circumstances? For example, your data analytics. If you have a good data analytics division, they would let you know who are your customers and are they using within the US, within Europe and transatlantic? What happened? You need to know a little bit more about their, the, the psychology of your customers. If you drop them, are they going to move to another airline company, which in turn will make your situation worse? As always, I'm going to ask you to like this recording, share it, and please visit farhatlectures.com for additional resources. If you are an accounting or finance student, especially if you are a CPA candidate, my resources will help you pass the exam. Good luck study hard, and most importantly, stay safe.